Good morning, folks. Hi, Phil McPhail here with the United Country Lifestyle Properties of Maine, and welcome to Bible Point in Township 4, Range 3, west of the easterly line of the state. Imagine casting a fly here in the Mattawamkeag River where Teddy Roosevelt stood 145 years ago. What we're gonna to see today is the former dam tenders camp where Mattawamkeag Lake transitions back into the west branch of the Mattawamkeag River. This is a property that's all about location, folks. Very remote, extremely private, beautiful setting on the river. Stick around, we're gonna take a tour of this property together today. As I said earlier, this is an extremely remote location, folks. We're in Township 4, Range 3, WELS, and that's an unorganized town in the southern part of Aroostook County. Uh, we're about 30 miles southwest of the town of Holton, which would be the nearest service town of any size to this property. We're about, uh, oh, I think it's 105 or six miles uh, to the city of Bangor where you get the airport there. That's about a two hour ride from here because you've got a lot of time to get out of the woods. If you're looking for an easy access property, this probably isn't the right one for you. Uh, there's a couple ways we can get here. There's about a 14 miles of gravel road to travel over from Route 2 to the site, or you can put a boat in on Mattawamkeag Lake and take about a 20 minute boat ride down to the landing that is just up river from us here a few uh, hundred yards. That would probably be the easiest way once you set up here at Cabin. So the boat slip and is uh, part of the sale here. Uh, there's a license for boat slip number 11 at the Island Falls Fishing Game Club. You can put your boat in there and keep it there. That's a $120 a year license and the owner of this cabin will transfer that license to the new owner of the cabin. The west branch of the Mattawamkeag River is a true wilderness river. We got wild brook trout in this river, landlocked salmon, Atlantic salmon actually migrate up here uh, from the ocean. The river itself, the entire Mattawamkeag drains about 1500 square miles. The west branch and the east branch of the river uh, come together south of us here in the town of Haynesville. And then the main stem of the river flows about another 50 miles through some pretty impressive white water and some class four rapids in the Mattawamkeag Wilderness Park area before the river eventually ends in the town of Mattawamkeag where it joins up with the Penobscot River. Bible Point on the Mattawamkeag River, what a cool spot. Um, we're less than a mile from the cabin hiking down here on a trail, which you could also take an ATV on. Uh, Teddy Roosevelt actually started coming here in 1878 in his early 20s. He rode up here from New York State by train and met up with guide Bill Sewell. And Bill showed him the area and uh, was very impressed with Teddy. Teddy, the story goes, is he, they camped out here in the woods behind me. And every morning he'd make his way down to this point where First Brook and the West Branch of the Mattawamke come together and read his Bible down here. So this was kind of an influential spot for, for Teddy. Uh, we'll put a link to the full story about Roosevelt's adventures up here and his relationship with um, Bill Sewell and the Dow family who eventually went to his inauguration when he became president and worked for him on his cattle ranch in the Dakotas. Besides fishing, what else can you do here on the Mattawamkeag River? Well, with all the conservation lands and large tracts of timberland owned by companies who leave it open to the public, there's thousands of acres here and some quality white dale deer hunting. You can see moose here on the river. If you want to do a paddle on the, on the meadow on keg, there are several sections you can paddle. They're just beautiful. You can ride your ATV right from here to some maintained trails. ITS 83, a snowmobile trail comes right by here. So our clients have used this property year round during their ownership and you name it. If you can do it outdoors, you can do it here in T4R3. We've made our way over to the cabin here, and this is the original dam keeper's cabin. It was built in 1898, um, and it was restored by the Hawks family, which was the previous owners to the folks that own it now, the Vicares. It's just been two owners of this cabin since it was uh, converted to a cabin from the dam keeper's house. 
Cabin itself has got cedar shakes on the exterior, 18 by 24 roughly, with about an 8 by 18 porch covered on the front. It's not screened, but it has got a roof over it, as you can see. The roofing is metal. The underpinnings are concrete blocks and rocks and wooden posts. Very solid building. It's been very well taken care of. Comes completely furnished. We're going to go ahead and check it out here in a minute. But before I do, I just wanted to point out that um, this morning we were filming the, the river to show you what the fishing was like. And uh, I didn't have a lot of flies with me. And I actually had one from a previous fishing trip that I brought along that I had tied for that trip looking like some of the minnows that were there and didn't fish it. So the first two fish this thing ever caught were a landlocked salmon and a nice little brook trout here this morning. I'm going to leave this for the new owner hanging over the door when you come in. As we come in on the porch, this is one large open space on the first floor. We've got gas lighting in here. You can get 100 pound tanks and over here we've got a, a little gas cook stove that comes with it. Some very simple shelving and countertops, wood box over here. Everything you see in this cabin will stay. All the tools, some of this stuff is antique, vintage. Nice little table here for eating. We got some beds. We got a, uh, a sofa box frame over there. Cabinets, a drain sink here. There's no plumbing water in here. We do have an outhouse. We'll check that out next. But uh, this is the interior of the cabin and what a lot of history in this place. If you can imagine 140 years of use in this building, pretty cool. We do have a wood stove here in this cabin. It's a pretty good size top loader here. Um, that more than adequate. We do have a brick, red brick chimney. Probably ought to have that inspected before you burn wood, but it's been used for a long time, no problems. Do have a gas refrigerator in here as well, and you'd be wise to check that out before using it. Upstairs, we have one big open loft for, for beds up there. It's kind of dark. There aren't any lights on that floor. You know, most of the time you're going to be here, you're going to have your headlamps. Well, let's go, let's go check out this 1.58 acres of land here. Um, like I said, this was a former dam camp and part of the dam still here. We're going to check that out. It forms a nice trail that leads us to the river. There's about 342 feet of frontage along the shore of the river down there. And we've got some shots of that to show you. So you can see how pretty that is. A beautiful salmon and trout hole down there right in front of the camp. Right next to the cabin here, about 20, 30 feet away, we've got this woodshed and outhouse. Um, it is approximately six by 12, six by 13 or so. Uh, plenty of room for dry wood in there, and there is an outhouse, uh, you know, pit privy. Be an easy spot to, if you wanted something a little, little better than pit privy, maybe put in a composting toilet out here, drop a little gas heater in, be perfect. Um, or, you know, do something different than this. But this is here, it's a very good building, ready to go. So from the cabin down to the river, it's probably straight line, 150, 175 feet. Got a little bit of a slope here, but it's not bad at all. You got a nice trail right to the water's edge. Let's go down and check it out the river. Down here at the end of the trail now by the river, and you'll see when you get down here, come straight down the hill, you take a little bit of a right at the, at the river's edge, and there's a stake right here with a survey pin on it. This property has been all surveyed. The survey is recorded in the registry of deeds, so it's all officially done. But here we've got the river frontage, 342 feet from the old dam site around this point behind me, and then right along the edge of that pool out there in the distance. The property here in T4R3, the lot itself is mostly softwood trees. We got big, beautiful pines and beautiful balsam firs along the shore here, plus some hardwood. We got yellow birch and and maple and some other hardwoods. It was primarily a softwood site, but it's really old growth, beautiful. The cabin's pretty well shaded by these big tall trees. Hey folks, before we wrap up the video, if you've been watching our channel for a while or if you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscription button down there in the bottom. Put on all notifications so you don't miss our next video. And if you're interested in Maine real estate and you want to know more, check out our newsletter here. You can scan that QR code or check out the uh, link in the description below the video. Thanks for taking the tour of this property with me today here in Township 4, Range 3. If you really love the outdoors, you owe it to yourself to come up here and check this out. If, if you've been looking for a getaway that's deep in the woods of Maine that you can actually get to within a reasonable distance, you got to check this out. 
So here are the terms of the property. The asking price on this is $150,000. The taxes at $238 a year. We got 1.58 acres all surveyed here on the river with 342 feet of frontage. You've got um, salmon fishing, trout fishing, whitetail deer hunting, ATV riding, snowmobiling, everything you want right in one location. So give me a call at 800-286-6164, ask for Phil, and I'll be happy to bring you in here and show this to you. And we'll also send you a property information packet that's complete with the survey, the maps, location, photos, uh, all the tax information, everything you need to know about the property. Looking forward to your call. Have a great day.